as being a, a, a person who was directly affected by the, by the policy of disenfranchisement, and also at the same time being someone who's interested in politics and, and political involvement, I just have this idea that where you know I think everybody should be allowed to vote. And working in politics, I've, I've registered hundreds of voters, and you know I run into people who have the same problem as me. They couldn't vote because they were convicted felons. And just by going through this process, I felt like you know I don't I don't want to be selfish and just say like give me my rights back. You know I, I I wanted to say let's change the policy, let's make sure that that no one has to go through what I went through. You know the whole the whole process of, of applying to get your rights restored is is really difficult, really long, and for me I had to relive the whole experience because you have to go back to your court records, you have to look them all up again, bring them, print them out, copy them. It's it just takes a lot to do it, and and then you still don't even know. Then there's the anticipation of wondering whether you're going to get your rights back, and it's sort of like a, am I going to be validated as a citizen? I think everybody should already be validated as a citizen that's, that that lives here in Virginia. And, and it's already an American citizen, you know, what else are you supposed to do to become a citizen? So I, I just don't want to see people be downtrodden like that. I run into a lot of people who who just, well, the system's just, you screwed me over, it'll never be right again, and there's nothing I can do. And I don't want to see people so distraught about that. I, I want there to be hope for people to... to to just at least do the, the minimum here of getting just voting. You know, it's just such a basic right that I think that everybody should have.